All right, so what is uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at Tiger Muay Thai all about? What do the techniques look like? How does Coach Alexi teach? Uh, what are you likely to expect if you were to do Jiu-Jitsu at Tiger Muay Thai? This video is essentially going to be purely technique focused, so uh, I'll timestamp down below all of the techniques of the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday classes um, uh, divided by days. So starting with Monday, uh, 9.30 a.m. all levels jiu-jitsu, so all levels no gi, basically anyone joins, uh, all skill levels. And then Tuesday is gonna be the entry level uh, fundamentals no gi jiu-jitsu class. So the techniques we learn there and then Straight after that class is the all levels, you know, no gi 930 class. And then straight after that, it's going to be Wednesday's uh, all levels jiu jitsu class. So essentially, this video is going to be uh, an encapsulation of um, four classes, all right? Four jiu jitsu no gi classes with Coach Alexi at Tiger Muay Thai. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I've made a few of these kinds of videos, but every technique is a little different. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Um, link up my uh, Instagram if you have any questions. You can just uh, shoot me a message there or my website, brandnewtonfitness.com. All right, enjoy the video, use the timestamps, and let's go. Basic guillotine. Uh, so, we'll start with a close guard. And as we did in the drill, I want to use my hand and foot across, so I will open my... Uh, legs and hands and I will go over his shoulder, but now my partner will try to uh, Bring his shoulders lower so he want to go lower uh, Not to give me a sweep or like a kimura sweep So what I have to do I have to bring my hand over and lay on my right shoulder So from that position you don't want to lay on your back. You want to lay directly on your right shoulder So I want to move my right shoulder and immediately move your leg so my hands will go in his armpit. So one of my hands will go in his armpit and one will go under his chin. So when I will when I will go inside, I will try to grab my hands at the very beginning like that and then I will move my hands inside. So I want to turn uh, my right hand inside. So I will create a grip like that. Um, once again. We will be here. I will try to get over. My partner will try to press me down, so I have to bring my hand over under his neck. Now I will lay on my right shoulder. If you if you will lay on your back or, or on the side where you don't have have head, so he will easily pull his head. But you have to lay on that side. So now I want to lay and close my legs. Uh, so from that position, I want to elevate my right elbow and bring my uh, my, my left elbow and bring my right elbow down so I, I don't want to extend my back I don't want to push him apart I want to bend his head down so I want to push it down closer to his legs so I want to lay on my right side go inside and start to press my right shoulder lower so um, what I want to do I want to press my elbow to my knee okay so you don't try to pull him apart and then you will give him opportunity to breathe like you will um, you will create the space under his neck but when you will push him down there will be like a guillotine you're trying to push his head down and under his neck there will be a hand so there will be a reason why you will choke him so once again you have over your partner is lower so you go under and lay on your right side so from that position connect your create your grip now go deeper close your legs and start to press your shoulder down so you want to crunch your body to the side so we will start with a uh, in a butterfly guard so what i want to do i want to bring pull his head down and push my legs and <laughs> push my legs in front so i want to push him in front to move him lower okay so now from that position i start to slide with my right hand inside so from that position i need my foot free if 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 i will not make that like free so he can easily go on that side okay so immediately so when if you if you started to do that push his knee away so that will be a problem for him 
if you will, if your leg will be outside, then you will easily finish your guillotine. And now we will start with a high elbow guillotine. So I want to press his hand away and go inside with the same grip. So now, uh, when I will start, I will start very tight with my face on his back. But when I will go over, I will bring my face on the opposite side. At the same time, I will bring my elbow over his back and bring my foot over his back. So when I start here, now I want to bring my face on the opposite side, lay on my right shoulder and go over. So we start here. I want to push him backwards, so I, I want to make his head lower. Now I can start uh, go inside. This the the next thing that where you have to be careful that foot. So because if you will lay down just like that, you will easily move over. If you don't have long hands, if you have short hands like me, that will be a problem. If your hands are long, so you can still finish, but you should be careful. Uh, I can push it. I want to push his leg backwards. Now I want to go deeper with my right hand and start to create a grip with my left hand. I will do the same. I will switch the position of my hands and uh, bring your face on top of his back. So you will slide it over, lay on your right sh uh, shoulder and bring your leg over. So the first one that will be Kimura Sweep. So, uh, we will start to do the same things, but now uh, we will finish the, our movement. So what I have to do, I have to pull my partner down. So we will start to do that with my legs, and then I will um, use my hands for that as well. So I want to um, move my partner higher and then uh, grab her head and pull her down. So I want to start with my knees, then I want to grab her head and pull her down. So usually for your movement, partners react, so they want to create the opposite movement. When you trying to pull someone down, he will resist you. The same thing if you will start to push someone away, he will resist and push on you. So that's our goal, to create the opposite movement. So what I want to do, I want to pull her down. And I will wait until she will apply enough of energy and forces to get up. So when she will do that, I will open my legs and immediately follow her. So I want to catch her shoulder. So now from that movement, I will push her in front and uh, twist her hand in my armpit. So I want to push you in front and sit down on top. So once again, start here, pull your partner down, then let her go and even you can try to push her away. So your partner will create that movement and then you will follow her. Then sweep over. So you're trying to push your partner in front and Pull her hand in your armpit, like your partner's hand in your armpit, so, and move on top. Uh, in the best case, there will be no stops in that movement. Like he started to move higher, and then you following him and sweeping him over. Okay, on the last time. Uh, what I have to do? I have to move her legs backwards so I have to grab her in that position and push her backwards so now from that position I will grab my hands over her shoulder like that and now I will start to pull her shoulder on me so I will mm, can you move from that side and move her around so I will grab her shoulder then I will push her backwards so I need uh, to push her knees backwards. Now I will grab over, over her shoulder. So I want to be with my grip right behind her shoulder. Uh, so from that position, I want to lay down at the same time. My grip will be really tight, so I will pull her shoulders on me. So now from that position, I will extend that leg and sweep and elevate that leg on top. So I'm... So the whole line will be straight and there will be no opportunities for her to put something on that side. Okay, so I'm pulling that shoulder and pushing that knee down. Sometimes you can use your sole to push your knee down in that direction. So once again, we start here. 
I want to be very close with my head, okay? Now you start to push your knees backwards, then you can go over your shoulder and start to lay backwards at the same time. I will push that leg down. So now I will elevate my right foot up and move on top. Again, you will hold your shoulder, you will hold your partner's shoulder until you will sweep over for the whole movement. So I start to push her backwards, then I move over, start to lean down and start to push that leg and elevate that leg over and then roll over. Any questions? So your legs should do two movements, push with one and elevate the second one, okay? So we will start with the scissor sweep. So what I have to do, I will start in the same position. So uh, I will grab his hand as high and throw him down. So I want his hand as high as I can. From that position, I will bring my left hand over and move my right hand under his hip. So I will use my left hip to turn my hips to the side. So from that position, I will extend my leg and move on top. Okay, so once again, stand in the close guard, grab your partner's head and hand. Now I will bring my hand over his neck and move under his knee. So at the same time, I will use my foot to bring it higher, higher and higher. So I want to uh, move to the side with my hips. So now I will use my foot to sweep him over. So the movement will be like, I'm trying to extend my foot and then slide it down, okay? And then make a scissors like. You want to do that move? Yes, exactly. So once again, starting with his guard, grab his head and shoulder, move to the side, and then move on top. So your goal is to make scissors with your legs, okay? So you want to extend one foot and go with the second foot on top. All levels due to two technique coming up, timestamp below. Let's go. So, we will start in our feet here. Yeah. Uh, and I will show you two variations. But I will um, create it with my, all my partner will, and the second one with my partner will uh, give it to my single or double leg. So, uh, we will start here. So, what I have to do, I have to bring my hand inside. My second hand will be on his head. And so, what I have to do, I have to circle. Now, I can move my shoulder over. Okay? So, now I can start to move my hands inside. Now I will just drive my hips as fast as I can down. So I will just drive my hips on the floor. So like a sprawl. So from that position, I will choke him down. I will make a guillotine. So what I have to do, I have to bring my left hand deep as I can and elevate it as high as I can. So I will use my foot under. I will create that space for my right knee. So now from that position, I will bring my knee under his belly and bring my foot over his back. So I don't want to fall down on my back, okay? From that position, I don't want to fall down somewhere here. I want to slide under my partner and lay on my right shoulder. Uh, so from that position, as I showed yesterday, uh, I want to dive in. I want to dive in with my hands and start to push my right shoulder down and elevate my left, uh, my left elbow up. Uh, once again. On top. So we start here. I want to circle and move over. So I'm moving my partner lower and then I push, bring my shoulder over. So I'm not putting that hand somewhere else. All the time I'm pulling him and bring my shoulder over so I can slide inside. So all the time I control my partner's head. From that position, I want to bring my hips down. Now I will go deeper with my left hand, move my foot and elevate his hand higher. So now I will drive in with my right knee under his belly and bring my left foot over. 
uh, go in, switch the grip and try to go deeper with your hands and push your right shoulder down and elevate your left elbow higher. So you don't want to pull your partner apart. You don't want to pull your, like, pull your partner's head. You want to push it down, okay? So you want to move to your own knee, with your elbow to your own knee. And the last time, start here, make a step to the side and go over. So from that position, right here, keep down, Go deeper with your left hand and use your elbow to elevate his hand higher, okay? So now slide with your right knee under his belly and go with your left foot over. The problem will be if your partner will jump over to the left. So that's why you need that, that foot very high. If he will try to jump over with now, there will be a problem for him. I can control that movement. So. Switch your grip and push your shoulder down. So I'm making that movement. Uh, you, so that's why you shouldn't lay on your back. You should lay on your shoulder. Okay? Single leg for me when his head will be inside. So he will shoot a single leg and his head will be inside. So what I have to do, I have to create the frame inside. So I want my elbow under his shoulder. I want to create the space. If he will be very tight and there will be no space, then for like 90% it will be hard to do that thing but I want to bring my elbow inside so now I want to use my shoulder to push his head away okay so now from that position I will slide him to the side and jump to the side okay so like from that position I'm just pushing my shoulder in front and jump to the side so now from that position I can go over here I'm much more in the defense than in previous position. So I put my weight of weight of my chest on the top of his back. So from that position, it's very easy to bring your foot down or break that thing. Or you can jump over and finish the other thing. But now um, you you can try it by yourself to jump on a guillotine. But now we will um, just push him down. Like I want to pull him down and let him go higher. So I want, your partner will be in a uh, not very comfortable position. So you want to pull him down, and at one point, I want to push on him, and at what, one point, he will try to pull his head away. So like, he will get up. So that's the moment which I will wait for, and make my double. Okay, so you creating the space under his feet. You make a shot, you want to bring your elbow inside, move him on the opposite side and push your leg down and pull him up. Okay, so from that position I want to push on him and move him front. So I want to push down and move on him. At some point I will swing higher and make my double leg. So this is the normal movement for your body. So this is the normal thing when your partner tries to pop his head away. And that will be the opportunity for you to make your double leg, okay? So, once again, bring your shoulder in. Don't forget to move your shoulder inside. Then move it on top and push your leg down. So now from that position I want to push him down and be front. And make a single uh, double leg in the so grab his hands from inside and grab his neck. So from that position I want to make side step and push his head down. So now I want to dive in. So from that position I will sprawl and bring my hips as fast as I can lower. So uh, like I don't want to jump as if it will be an MMA fight or grab his nice, I don't want to be on body. So I will just sprawl and bring my hips as fast as I can. So I want to get in that position. Um, that's gonna be from that side, please. <clears throat> so what I have to do here, I have to push his hand in front, so to grab his hand from inside, okay? So from that position, it's very easy for me to um, make a handed guillotine, like I want to grab my hand from behind, over, and finish him with his own hand, okay? 
So, when I will do that, I will push his hand in front, grab his own armpit, then I will grab my finger, fingers from bottom and move my knee in front and then to the side too, like in a circle. So once again from the very beginning, we start here. I want to move him to the side and push his head down, okay? So from that position, I need to drop my hips down as fast as I can. From that position, start to push his elbow in front and grab his armpit. So you want to pull his hand to the side. Here I want to slide to the side and then dive in under his belly. Now the same movement from the very beginning. So we will start here. I want to move him to the side and move my hips down. Okay? Here I want to now I did that, but but I understand that something goes wrong and I cannot make a hand at guillotine. So uh, what I have to do, I have to make a step to the side and bring my left hand under the head. So I want to move back. Okay, so my shoulder is really deep in his arm. So I want to be here, like my hand should appear. Now I want to push that elbow down and push my left shoulder in front. From that position, I just want to close Das and start to push on him. I want to use my toes, not my knees, so I want to elevate my hips up and push from bottom. So I want to bring, drive my chest in front, okay? So again, we we'll start here. And I close that hand, so I want to make a step to the side. If I will not, push his hand. Uh, he can easily grab my hips and not let me to do that. So, move to the side and bring your hand as deep as you can. So now, break that lock and push that elbow down, okay? And drive your shoulder in that direction. So now you want to go deeper with your hand, close your dust and uh, elevate your knees from the floor and push your chest in front. <clears throat> if you feel and then in the dust position you are not tight enough like we did that but you are not tight enough so you cannot grab your hand in a normal way so what i have to do i have to turn my hand in the opposite direction grab my own triceps and then i will be deep okay so i want to turn my hand here grab my own triceps and then i will be deeper and again i start to push in front so your goal with your chest to push his hand down in that direction, okay? Not, not somewhere there or like, I don't know. So you have to find with the middle of your chest, his triceps and start to push it down and in front, okay? In that direction. When I will do that, when I want to go uh, to the side, when I push his hand to the side and I move to the side, I want to be with my hips closer to his hips then it will give me opportunity to drive my shoulder deeper, okay? So now I can be deeper with my shoulder because my shoulder is in front of me. So now I can start to push him in front. Mm. So, also, you don't want that your partner was there because he can defend from that thing. You want to move him in that position, okay? More uh, to be closer to his back. Uh, so, if my partner start to open his hand and push my hips to the side what i have to do i have to elevate my own hips and move over so now i can push my hips down and finish my dust here but now it's not enough so once again you did the same move your hips to the side created your grip, push that elbow down, push him in front. Now you want to go over, but your partner start to push your hips away. So what I have to do, I have to elevate my hips over, bring my uh, foot over, and I will try to split him on the floor. I will try to make him flat on the floor. So now I can push my hips in front. Okay, so I want to sit on top, and I want to make him lean like that. So now I can push his head backwards like a guillotine so again move to the side push him in front 
close and now he starts to defend. So what I have to do, elevate my hips higher, move to the side and splash him on the floor. So now I can finish my guillotine. So you want to push your hips down and stick your elbows together, okay? 